Good morning, YouTube. It's Sharice here, getting ready to go observe some South Carolina region band. And I wanted to do a get ready with me because I've been experimenting with a lot of new products, new foundations, just new everything. And I feel like I need to talk to you guys about something new that I tried that I have really been liking for the past few days. And that is double priming, so using more than one primer, using two primers, and wearing concealer, which is something I like never, ever, ever do, but I love the way it looks, and it really does make a difference in like the flawlessness of my makeup application, and just the overall look. So the primers I used are... My favorite from Cover FX, the Mattifying Primer with Acne Treatment. And then I also went in with the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer with Rice Complex on top of that for extra mattifying power. And I use the Neutrogena one because I'm wearing a Neutrogena foundation right now that I have been enjoying so far. I haven't worn it enough to know if I really, really like if it's going to be a staple. I don't think it's going to be a staple, but it's a good foundation worth trying I, from what I've noticed so far and experienced so far. I think it's worth trying. And the good thing about all the products that I've used on my face so far is that they're good for your skin and they're made to like help improve your skin, which is what attracted me to trying this Neutrogena foundation along with Jackie Ina's video, which I have a first impression that should be going up soon about it. And the foundation I'm wearing is the Neutrogena Nourishing Longwear Makeup with Tone Correcting Complex and it has sunscreen SPF 20. And it's their 12 hour wear foundation so, and it actually is pretty long wearing but after that 12 hours it starts to look like crap. But until their 12 hours is up it looks really really good on the skin and the shade match is a little warm for me but overall it looks pretty good. It's a full coverage, I would say it's pretty full coverage foundation and it feels really good on the skin and it has a nice kind of satin finish as you can see it's really pretty foundation so the one thing I've been loving like I said is for the past few days is um concealer which you guys know I'm like so like you don't have to conceal blah blah blah, blah. but I've really been loving the way using a sort of highlighting concealer but not super strong highlighting concealer really looks on my skin and how it can add some of the yellowness back into my foundations that are too deep or just too red. So it's been really helpful for me to be wearing concealer because it fixes those two problems. Excuse me. And the concealer I've been loving is from LA Girl Pro. Pro LA Girl. LA Girl Pro. Yeah, the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. And I'm using the shade Beautiful Bronze. And I use it just like you see on YouTube in everyone else's videos, but you can see it's really, really close to my skin tone. So I like that about it, that it's closer to my skin tone. And I'm just going to use it under my eyes. This just helps to add dimension to the face. And like I said, to kind of correct the redness of this foundation because I do not have hardly any red in my skin. My skin is very yellow, kind of cool-ish as you can see. Even on my arm you can tell that, yeah. I guess my skin is cool, I don't know. I get confused now, like I thought golden was like warm, but you know, I don't understand. And I also like to do the bridge of my nose a little bit on the forehead. So this isn't really to like actually conceal imperfections, it's literally just for highlighting my face. I also like to go under my brows like that into the cupid's bow. And I'm not going to put any on my chin, but I'll put a little bit more on my forehead. 
So as you can see, it's not super duper bright. Oh, I did reverse as well. Kind of reverse contouring. That looked really, really good. So we'll do that again. All right, so that's all the places that I like to apply my concealer. And I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender, and I use the same side that I used um, to blend out my foundation, and I just lightly dab it to blend out the concealer. And it blends out so easy. And I feel like it just looks so good, like the shade on me looks so good. Like I really love beautiful bronze, like it's not too much. But it's still, like, you can still see it. And I really have been enjoying that. So I like to do under the eyes first, and then I come up to the forehead. And then I go back to the eyelid area. Slash eyebrow area. And I blend that out. And I like to come back underneath. Just to make sure that it's in my fine lines. Going into the forehead again. And then I like to kind of bring this down a little bit. As you can see. like so but yeah I think this concealer looks really really good and for the price point it's like $2.99, $3.99, $4.99 it's less than I'm pretty sure it's less than four dollars it's a really really great concealer and it's really good with oily skin because it doesn't add any oil to your skin it's not gonna make you greasier which I had a problem before but I don't think I think it's just because I wasn't priming right I wasn't prepping my skin correctly all right for some odd reason, there's less um, darkness on this side. I feel like I've been having issues with that, I'm like balancing it out. So I'm just gonna kind of go over everything. Like you see how there's more darkness on this side, but I'll correct that when I go in with my powder. And of course, the bridge of the nose. I just kind of dab down in the center. And the cupid's bow. So now that I have blended out all my concealer and placed my concealer where I want it to be, it's time to set it. And I'm going to use a different powder than I have used the couple past the past couple days, of course. I've been using black radiance powders. So you guys know how much I love black radiance powders. So you can see that adds like a nice subtle highlight to my face. Today I'm going to try out using this Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Concealer in the shade 310 Sun Beige, which is really, really bright. And I'm using a cosmetic wedge, like a latex. It's a latex-free one, I think. I'm not allergic to latex, but just for the people that are, there are latex-free cosmetic wedges. And this is a pressed powder, so I'm going to be packing this on underneath the eyes to set my concealer. And it's going to add a little bit of more highlight, and it really is going to smooth out the texture of my skin and really make it look flawless. That's what powder does for my skin, is it makes it look so flawless and perfect. 
and it's going to help control oil and keep things matte, keep things from creasing because I also need that because I do get creasing in these little fine lines under my, under my eye. I have fine lines under my eye. And I'm really focusing this on the side of my nose where I get the most oil and then bringing it up like so. Now you can use a brush for this, you can use your beauty blender to do this. I just like using Cosmetic Wedge. I think just because of how flat it is and there's no bristles. And this powder of course is really really light to emphasize and reinforce the highlighting concealer. Which like mine isn't really really bright and I think that's kind of what made me not like concealing is because all the concealers I was using I was taking off like the suggestions for shades off YouTube from people in my skin tone range but I just personally didn't like how bright those are and how they look. My sister on the other hand loves the brighter concealers like like using Fawn or using the Maybelline Fit Me 360 but I like something a little closer to my skin tone so now I know that and I'm gonna invest in some more concealers. I'm probably going to try out more concealers now that I know that I like the way concealer looks. And it does kind of prolong the wear of my makeup. I feel like I don't get oily as fast. And I only have to touch up like every maybe five to six hours. And by touching up, I don't even really need to add more powder. Like I can just blot or kind of just brush over my face with a brush that was used before but I haven't applied any more powder to it just with whatever's left over. I'm also going to do this on my forehead using this same lighter toned powder on the forehead. Really making sure to kind of go up kind of high because I do get creasing in my forehead. Did I tell you the shade in the um, Neutrogena foundation? I have 135 chestnut. Yeah it's right there. I'm looking at it. Which I feel like is pretty good for my skin. It's just a little red for me. That's okay. As you guys can see, I make it work. And of course, down the bridge of the nose. I'm going to go observe region bands some more. I think I already said that. But I'm also taking with me one of my classmates who doesn't have a car. And I'm just going to put some powder on my chin. Even though I didn't put any concealer on my chin. And we will do a little bit of powder. I'm gonna go this direction. Right here where we applied that concealer. I'm so glad I got today off work. That's exciting. Makes me happy. So you can see my sides look kind of different. My face is not symmetrical. The more and more I do my makeup, the more I'm realizing my, my face is not symmetrical. But usually my contour on this side comes out more peaky than this side. I'm not sure why that is. All right, so. Now I'm just kind of dabbing whatever's left over onto my face. We look real crazy. Again, that's the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and 310 Sun Beige that I use to fake highlight all those good things. And now what I'm going to do is use my e.l.f. Flat Top Powder Brush to 
dust all this away. I don't like to let it sit for too long. And I start under the eyes. I just like to blend it all out. And go ahead and do it under here too. It doesn't take long for it to really, you know, have an effect. All right, so now I've kind of added some of the yellowness, coolness back to my skin, but now I look really kind of washed out and I need to add my color back so yesterday I used my black radiance soft focus finishing powder but today I'm going to use my L'Oreal true match powder in C6 I'm taking this same brush and I'm going to start to place this on the perimeters of my face to set all the places that I didn't set already with powder and it's going to help to add warmth back into my skin. You can instantly see how it's adding color back into my skin and we're going to go over overlap to a bit of overlapping here on my large forehead. like so and basically you're gonna apply this in all the places that you would kind of contour so I'm doing the sides of my nose but really it's my skin tone shade it's not really contour and I'm gonna go right on my cheekbone area Oops. As you can see, I'm really gently kind of really curving right around my cheekbone to get a nice look. And by doing that, I also don't go below the line I created. I'm also taking it up just a little bit so it connects to kind of my forehead area. You can see I kind of went around my eye so it's not lightness all the way to the very edge. But yeah, these techniques that I'm using have really been looking really, really good. And I feel like they've kind of upped my makeup game, which I'm always down for that. Taking my skills to the next level. And now I'm going to use this powder to kind of blend out the very edges lightly. So you can still see that I'm highlighted, but it's not crazy intense. And these powders are working beautiful together. Like my skin looks so smooth and perfect. I'm going to take a little bit over the tops of the places where the lighter powder is just to tone it down a little bit. And of course, you do it right next to the chin area, brushing over everything now at this point, just to make sure there are no harsh lines. And as you can see, this gives a really, really nice look to my skin. And I feel like it just matches my tone better. Like when I use concealer, like I've just been loving the way that it looks. And it kind of just highlight and it just, everything just gets done like kind of in a few quick, easy, simple steps. And I'm just using this powder to blend this out a little bit over here to go over it. So it's not as harsh. But I love the effect that has on my skin. What do you guys think about this new kind of like foundation routine that I have going on? I kind of wanted to show it to you. But this is what I've been doing for the past few days. And I really have loved how it looks. 
So we're going to go ahead and finish up the skin. I'm doing more of like my simple makeup routine. Like I didn't do any real contouring. I'm not going to add any highlight today. I'm just going to put on some CoverGirl Queen bronzer as like my blush and highlight all in one. And that's going to add even more warmth to my skin. And I'm using my e.l.f. complexion brush to do this. I'm just going to take it right on the cheekbone. That's another thing I've been doing. It's going right on the cheekbone area. I'm really using my cheekbone as a guide. Instead of trying to find the apples in my cheeks and then taking it back, I've just been falling right along my cheekbone. And I feel like that gives a way more beautiful finish. I think it just looks better. It makes the sides match better. It looks more consistent. And just looks... It just looks better. Instead of starting on my cheek, like starting here and I would like blend back, I was, mm -mm. I literally start right on the cheekbone. I just follow my bone structure. Do you see that guys? Look how beautiful that is. I love this stuff. I feel like it just does everything, like highlight, contour, blush like it's a three-in-one type of product i just love the finish and how it makes my skin look i'm drinking an english toffee cappuccino today and so i think this is going to be my spring foundation routine if you want to add highlight go ahead um i do like to highlight my nose um, I feel like this already has some shimmer to it, so it kind of naturally highlights the cheek area. But just because I know I'm going to want to be glowy, um, I will highlight my nose for you guys. So this can be like my legitimate spring 2016 foundation routine. So I'm going to use my favorite highlighter, which you guys already know. It's from Black Radiance and it's in Ginger Snap. And I'm just going to use my finger. Normally I use a brush. Whoa, look how intense that is. When you use your finger. And oh my gosh, it's so intense. So I'm using my finger to apply this to the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some right under the brow bone. And like I said, if you want more of a glow, go ahead and apply highlight using a brush to your cheeks and everywhere else that you want to. I'm just using my finger because I'm doing really sp specific spots on my face. To illuminate certain features. Do you see that? That's beautiful. It looks so pretty. And I'm kind of blending it into my brow hair. So you see that a nice subtle glow like so if you want more go ahead and put it on your cheekbones as well i'm not going to today but i'm might in the future so that's you can i guess consider that a part of the foundation routine so this is very highly concentrated so i'm going to take my brush that i used to apply powder to the perimeters of my face i'm going to use this to blend out the illuminating highlighting powder just to tone it down a little bit and to blend it in a little bit better but it's still it's definitely still there you know what I mean and of course I'm going to 
work with students and stuff. I'll be around students and future employers. So I don't want to be too glowy, but, you know, for school, if I'm just going to class here at Winthrop, I might, you know, turn up the glow, really bronze it up and illuminate, highlight it up. But that completes my spring 2016 foundation routine step-by-step -step guide. Y'all saw a reel in live time. I hope you guys like the finish. Let me know what you think about um, the routine, the color, how it looks with um, my body, my skin tone. My hands are really ashy because I was washing my beauty blender and cleaning. But let me know what you think about it. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube.